Thank you. Please be seated. Our chalice is lit. A flame is ignited. Some illumination is provided. Unitarian Universalists for centuries have been about the quest for truth. The discovery and the celebration of those ideas and ideals that can bless and uplift life. We have sought to move beyond concepts of sin and of salvation to ones of hope and love, of compassion and caring, moving into the world not as agents to condemn and judge, but to embrace and lift. Unitarian Universalism is an excited excitement about the possibilities of life. It's folks engaged in, with love and compassion into a world of struggle to be about those ideas and those ideals that can bless us. Welcome all to this place. Our chalice is lit. The light holds. Or we, or we reflect in it. We have weird energy today. What's that about? We're thinking about mothers, I guess. That's good. Or maybe I'm too far back here from you. I'm trying to experiment. See, I want to set up here on my stool after a while, so we'll see with that. Welcome all to this place. The Unitarian Universalist Church of Tampa is entering its 60th year. And on the back, you'll see a big map. And before the day's over during social hour, I hope you'll go back and get a little dot and put on the place you came from immediately before here. Peggy and I will put Laurel, Mississippi. There's some Canadians in here. They're from people from France and other places. So I, I guess you'll have to just accommodate that. There's a world map on the bottom. But we're getting pre prepared for our uh, celebration of our 60th anniversary soon, and that's a part of that celebration. Uh, we come here from different places with different expectations. We may have been heavily religious in our past. We may be a whole new concept to us. But let all who come into this room, let all who embrace this community, know that we are here to celebrate with you the possibilities you discover. We're not so much here to teach you what is right and good, but to show you by our modeling how we search for truth, how we look at different concepts, how we experience different traditions, how we engage the controversies and the issues of our lives today to come away with some sense of understanding, maybe some appreciation and some insights in how to cope. So let everyone be welcome here. No matter how the world has labeled you or how you've labeled yourself, you're welcome into this community to seek and learn and love and live. Every person who assumes a pulpit, who stands in front of a group of Unitarian Universalists on a Sunday morning, who proposes to lead worship, to acknowledge community, to set up ideas and share concepts, must, under, must understand a reason why this is done. Why not be at home with the New York Times? Why not be on the lake, on the bay, on the river? Why not be participating in the great cathedral of life, recognizing the mystery around and about us? We're called a celebration here because these folks, we folks, have committed to a covenant of understanding of how we will be to one another. We will share in our freedom to engage life, to be agents of understanding, to learn more about our own ways and the ways of the world, to look at the big questions that have perplexed, shamed, blessed, challenged generation after generation. Questions of right or wrong, of good and evil, questions of immortality, questions of moral right and moral wrong. Unitarian Universalists come together on Sunday morning not to dispense the truth, but to try to ask questions related to the truth. And in asking those questions, in wondering out about those ideas, in engaging hard stuff to say we must be engaged, we must be involved, we must be the pathfinders, the meaning, meaning makers that can help us understand what it means to be related to life what our relationships imply. We come from a tradition and a background and a process that we had nothing to do with. We engage it for a spell. 
We have a time of being a co-creator with life, of looking up at our, our family, our larger community, trying to embrace the wonder at the same time we look at the challenges. Determine those choices, to determine those choices, to look at those options, to say yes beyond the no, to find the faults, to find those things that don't matter, to lay them aside, to look at the core of truth that's in each of our hearts, truth that expresses itself in needs and enjoyment of love, of compassion, of understanding. So we come to celebrate as a people in a search. We come as pilgrims, stopping at this shrine to look at the relics of the past, the horizon and the path in front of us, to be about it with some sense of intentionality and hope, to lift one another up as we enter our path, to rest with some of us who need to rest a while, to say goodbye to others and say welcome to those who come our way. Unitarian Universalism is an engagement with life based on an understanding that we are co-creators. We are engaged, we are involved in how we make it work and what it might mean for us. We can accept our inheritance, we can modify it, we can change it, we can look at it for the treasures it might provide, but it does not guide us unless we choose to accept it that way. We chart our own course for good or bad, and we do it with love and hope, and we do it in places like this, Sunday after Sunday. Welcome to this community. I'm glad you're here.